the Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go through the steps for solving a one-step equation. First, step one is it helps if you divide the problem into two sections. Okay. Next, identify the variable. Then decide what the inverse operation is. Then the inverse operation will cancel or undo. And then you will calculate the value and box it. So let's work a couple examples and I'll go through each of these steps. Okay, with the problems and I've already gotten started with the first one, uh, I've got a addition subtraction, I've got a multiplication and then a division so you can see the different types. Okay, so number one, I've drawn a line down through the equal sign so you can see two sides. Okay, I've identified the variable which is m and now I'm going to complete the inverse operation which is addition since this is subtraction. So I'm going to add 59 here, these cancel, and then I'm going to add 59 on the other side. So when I do that, that gives me 9 plus 3 is 2, carry the 1, nine, that would be 1, 22, these cancel, equals M. So the answer is M is equal to 1, 22, and I'll box it, okay? Now let's check our work. I'm going to add it into the original equation. 63 plus 122 minus 59. And if you take 122 minus 59, that is indeed 63. Okay, so that works out. Next, let's go one with multiplication. Okay, so step one, I'm going to draw a line down the middle. I have identified the variable which is j and the order of operation is multiplication so I need to divide each side by 16 okay and so that will be 3 or 4 divided by 16 16's cancel so I'm left with j equals and now let's move this over here and I'll divide 3 or 4 by 16 16 goes into 31 times okay 30 minus 16 is 14 and 144 divided by 16 is 9. So we have j is equal to 19. Okay. Again, I can check my work. If I go 16 times 19, that should equal 304. And if I get my trusty calculator out and I divide, multiply 16 times 19, it is indeed 304. Okay, so we checked our work on that one. Okay, and finally, the last one. This one may seem a little tricky, but if you rewrite it, it will make some sense. I'll draw a line down the middle. I have identified my variable, which is k. Okay, but I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite it as k over 14. And that is the same as division. So I'm going to rewrite 13 is equal to k over 14. Okay, I'll draw the line down the middle. And now to undo uh, division, I'm going to multiply. And I'm going to multiply it by 14. And I can rewrite that as 14 over 1. Okay, so what I do to one side, I must multiply to the other side. So now I have 13 times 14 is equal to k over 14 times 14 over 1. These cancel, so I get k over 1 is equal to, and 13 times 14, let's move this over here, is 4 times 3 is 12, that is 52, 13, that equals 182. So the answer becomes k is equal to 182, and I'll box it. Okay? And then I can check the work. If you take 182 and divide it by 14, that is 1 and 4, 42, and that does indeed become 13. I hope that helps with solving one-step equations. Moomoo Math uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.